The intestine. Main questions on the lecture. Intestine consists of two parts, small and large intestine. Small intestine is a tube 5-6 meters in length consists of three parts duodenum, eunum and ileum. Small intestine carry out several functions. The main is digestion, chemical treatment of food by the enzymes of pancreatic and intestine juice. As a result, proteins breaking down to amino acids by enzyme trypsin, peptidase and enterokinase. Carbohydrates break down to monosaccharides like glucose, fructose by amylase, saccharase, maltase, lactase and lipids to glycerol and fatty acids by lipase nucleic acids to nucleotides by nucleases and these simple molecules absorbed the small intestine to the lymph and blood. Motor function it means peristaltics movement of intestine. Barrier protective function is the barrier between environment the lumen of small intestine and inner medium blood and lymph interstitial fluid and the current function production of numerous gomons by individual gomon producing cells which scattered uh, between exocrine cells of the epithelium of small intestine. They belong to diffuse part of endocrine system. This picture demonstrates the transition of the stomach to the duodenum. All membranes and layers of stomach transit to the same name membranes and layers of duodenum and you can see as gastric pits and glands of pylorus transit to the villi and crypts of the duodenum. Here in duodenum, in submucosa, located the duodenal glands, which produce the secret, which contain bicarbonates and can neutralize the acid medium of gastric juice neutralize hydrochloric acid which from stomach enter the duodenum it's necessary because the optimum pH for intestine is alkaline you can see also thick muscle membrane of pylorus transit to 
much thinner muscle membrane of the duodenum. Small intestine suspended at mesenterum to conceal the intensive blood supply of intestine. It's a linear tubular organ. It consists of three membranes. Mucous membrane, muscle membrane, and serous membrane outside. The section of small intestine you can see transverse folds of mucosa which increase the surface in three times. The histological preparations under microscope you can see that these folds composed by all four layers of mucous membrane and also villi and crypts available. Villi, the finger-like extensions of mucous membrane increase the surface of intestine in ten times. Small intestine consists of three membrane mucous membrane, muscular and serous membrane. Mucous membrane finger-like extensions called villi they about one millimeters long and 0.1 millimeters thick. The under scan electro microscope they really looks like th fingers. They amount up to 40 villi per square millimeter of intestine surface. There are also intestinal crypts, tubular invaginations of mucous membrane. There are more than 150 millions of them in small intestine. There are four layers in mucous membrane. Surface epithelium, which linen cover villi and linen crypts. It's simple columna absorptive epithelium. You can see it at high magnification a transverse section of villi. And see the crypts at high magnification. The villi's core consists of loose connective tissue with numerous blood vessels, lymphatic vessel and nerve fibers. It's lamina propria. It's also surrounding crypts located between crypts inside villi and between crypts. The third layer is lamina muscularis, consists of loose connective tissue and then going submucosa, also loose connective tissue, where the nerve ganglia of submucous nerve plexus located, as well as numerous blood vessels. Muscle membrane consists of inner, circular, and outer longitudinal layers of smooth muscle cells. And serous membrane is usually consists of a layer of loose connective tissue covered by a method 
simple square mass epithelium. There are six types of cells in epithelium of villi and crypts. The main type is absorptive columnar cells. These cells, 25 millimeters long and about microns long and about 8 micron wide. On the apical portion, there are small finger-like extensions, microvilli, the lens about one micron and point one micron wide. So they exactly thousands times smaller than villi. They increase the surface of intestine in 20 times for better and quicker absorption of products of digestion of food. And also he allocated a huge amount of digestive enzyme carry out the membrane digestion in addition to digestion into the lumen and on the surface and inside cells and there are about three thousands of this microvilli in every absorptive cell. Altogether they compose the brush border or straighted border. Like really in tooth brush for example. This electron micro photogram demonstrate the microvillian brush border in absorptive cells apical portions. And you can see also strong intercellular contacts, goblet cells. On common gematoxylene and eosin staining preparations they look like light vesicles. On gistochemical preparation stain for mucin glycoproteids determination. They looks dark pink. They stain specifically as well as a layer of mucus on the surface. These cells sometimes compared with glass for wine where the narrow neck contain the nucleus and organelles and extended apical part filled in by secretory accumulated secretory mucous granules and droplets and this mucous secret release to the surface and cover by thin layer the surface of mucous membrane protect it from crude food components. The third layer is endocrine cells. There are several types of them which produce several gamons. They are located mostly in duodenum. The gamons accumulated in basal part of cells in secretory granules and to release through the basal membrane into the intercellular fluid medium 
its paracrine effects. They affect neighboring cells regulating their activity. Or this gamon can enter the blood, into this blood flow distributed in the body and acts through the receptors, certainly, for distant targets, organs and cells. Panet cells located in bottoms of crypts. They called cells with acidophilic apical granularity. They produce lysozyme enzyme which digest bacteria wall and also depeptidases which digest short peptides, depeptides for amino acids. This enzyme release into the lumen of creeps and then they open into the lumen of intestine. All above cells are highly specialized, differentiated, and cannot methodically divide. There is a special type of undifferentiated cells, the stem or cumbell cells, which can uh, divide in mitotically, and you can find the figures of mitosis in crypts at the level between middle and deep third of crypts. From here the young cells move sliding on basal membrane of crypts and villi and push the old aged cells and replace them. They differentiated to absorptive cells, goblet endocrine cells, reach the tips, apical portions of villi and shadow of diet but participate sometimes in digestion process. The full replacement of epithelium of villi take place during six three six days. The young cells can move also to the bottom of crypts, replace the panet cells. But this process is much slower, several weeks. This picture demonstrates the blood and lymphatic vessels of Billy. And you can see his smaller tera enter the villi, branching for capillaries and then blood collected by vein which going to the submucose plexus then blood flow further outside intestine blind large lymphatic capillary it's alone and lymph flow from here to the deeper lymphatic plexus and then to lymphatic vessels. During the digestion, Willus works as a pump, relax and accumulate in blood and lymph products of digestion and then push the lymph and blood to the deeper 
vessels. It took place four six times per minute. And every time ever will absorb thirty forty microliters of the digested products. It's about one two droplets of fluid. I describe you the general plan of structure of small intestine wall but different parts of small intestine have some specificities for example in duodenum the villi and crypts shorter and wider as compared to eunum In the epithelium few goblet cells in eunum and especially in, in ilium the amount of goblet cells increased significantly. The presence of duodenal glands in submucosa, the complex tubular alveolar mostly mucose glands. You see the mucosecretory portions, but there are some zeros also. And bile and pancreatic ducts enter the duodenum. In eunum and especially in ilium there are much more lymphoid follicles. You see here the gistological preparation a single lymphatic follicle and under scan electron microscopy you can see that in this place no villi and crypts as compared to normal intestine mucosa and lymphatic follicle covered by simple columnar epithelium containing the special follicle associated epithelial cells or M cells M from microfolds microfolding cells these folds, phagocyte bacteria destroy them and, and represent two lymphocytes of lymphoid follicle. To obtain information, these lymphocytes move to lymph nodes where they clone in and billions of specific B lymphocytes migrate to the blood and with blood flow return to intestine convert for example to plasma cells which produce antibodies immunoglobulins which secreted by absorptive cell, epithelial cells to the lumen where they destroyed bacteria and you can see the aggregated lymphatic follicles per patches in ilium without microscope on the inner surface of ilium you can see uh, like a ribbon uh, large aggregations of lymphatic follicles, several hundreds of them. Here they shown uh, under a light microscope. The light geminal centers, reactive centers in the middle of them, it's B dependent zone and between 
much poor T dependent zones. And here, antigen dependent proliferation and differentiation of B and T lymphocytes take place. Large intestine anatomically consists of several parts. Cecum ascendant transverse descendant colon sigmoid and rectum function no digestion of organic components take place here they should finish in small intestine here only the digestion of cellulose these by bacteria take place and here absorption of water and salts take place secretion of huge amount of mucus vitamin produced by bacteria here and vitamins of B groups absorbed here and motor function is the movement pushing of remnants of food and digestion remnants of food to the exit to the rectum you can see here the semicircular folds of mucous membrane you can see one fold under microscope you see three membranes mucous membrane muscle and serous no villi available here only crypts but much larger as compared to small intestine one crypt here the surface epithelium is simple columnar absorptive epithelium then lamina propria loose connective tissue between crypts then lamina muscularis and submucosa lot of lymphoid follicles nodules in mucous membrane and submucosa here muscle membrane consists of inner circular and outer longitudinal layers but after muscle layer not permanent but compose three longitudinal bundles tenia coli here one of them mucous membrane muscle membrane and serous membrane here the crypts of large intestine you can see the entrance into the crypts under scan electron microscope here in groups, 11 billions of bacteria in symbiosis with macroorganism with the human body. Human body feeding them by mucus and they produce, synthesize vitamin B group necessary to the body there are five types of cells in, in epithelium layer of crypts in between absorptive cells contain much smaller microvilli and brush body sensory cells unusual stain in blue here on apical portions they 
contain microvilli with chemoreceptors. They control the chemical composition of lumen. Goblet cells, numerous here, more than 50% of all cells leaning the crypts belong to goblet cells. They produce a lot of mucus for feeding bacteria and cover the surface, inner surface of large intestine to protect from crude waste products undigested components of not numerous endocrine cells with basal granularity which release gamon not into the lumen but outside crypt into the blood of blood vessels surrounding crypts and undifferentiated cells located like in small intestine near the bottom of crypts and they proliferate and replace the aged cells of epithelium. This slide demonstrates the numerous goblet cells in crypts. They really look like vesicles. Appendix vermiformis and the section under microscope has cleft-like lumen. Poor developed crypts, sometimes they disappeared. A big amount of lymphoid follicles in lumen appropriate. So appendix looks like tonsil and sometimes it called intestinal tonsil. These follicles belong also belong to mucose associated lymphoid system. Rectum consists of two parts pelvic and anal part. Pelvic part on on the structure wall similar to other parts of large intestine. The anal part belong to compose the posterior part of digestive tube. It have unusual structure. Consist of three zones. Columnar zones consist of zone consist of longitudinal folds. Transitional zones, the place where these longitudinal folds fuse together. And skin zone, covered by real skin with hairs, skin glands, and all part of rectum leaning by stratified epithelium. The stomach and intestine in epithelium and glands developed from endoderm of primary digestive tube of the embryo. And connective tissue and muscle tissue developed from surrounding mesenchyme, embryonic connective tissue.